Welcome to your next lesson on transitioning from SOLIDWORKS collaboration. Unlike SOLIDWORKS or other traditional CAD software, Fusion 360 is an integrated and cloud-based design and development tool, meaning you can work on your product from concept to manufacture and can access its data from any device, anywhere. Along with this, Fusion Team means you can also have multiple stakeholders from multiple disciplines and backgrounds involved in a project, helping them to work in tangency efficiently and effectively. Here I am creating a project for a new headphone to show you one example of how to share between product designers, engineers, management, suppliers and the client to highlight the power behind Fusion 360's collaborative and connected approach. Firstly, from an administrator perspective, to add people to a project you can invite them from the data panel or from Fusion Team which can be quickly accessed by clicking on the project name. Once accepted, you'll see them appear in the Peoples tab after refreshing, as well as in the Project Member section under Details in your Team Hub. In your Team Hub, you can also view and manage users' access rights, depending on their role, as well as defining the project type, whether it is open, closed, or secret, depending on the visibility levels, content privacy, and membership restrictions. We have our team set up, and secondly, from a user perspective, the product designer can first create any number of conceptual 3D models using the sculpting capabilities to discuss and define with other engineers using the inbuilt and portal based commenting tool before presenting to management. Management is happy, and after the refinements, we can create and share a link, share via email, or embed on the website for the client to review the design before proceeding. We can also set download and password restrictions if applicable. The client can download a snapshot of a comment, manipulate the view, create a section analysis, and explode the model to get a better idea of the final size and how it will all come together. Notice how they, or anyone else involved, do not have to install eDrawings to join in on the collaboration. During our development, we need to import an external component to design around, although the supplier has provided us with a non-native file. No problem though, as with any CAD, we can easily import this, and a multitude of other file types, into our design and continue with the development. The engineers can then refine the selected design to establish mechanical integrity, ease of assembly, and manufacturing suitability using the various workspaces built within Fusion. We have our designs complete, and now I am creating a production folder to store our manufacturing documentation. In this instance, I am uploading a PDF of the assembly instructions, an MP4 movie of the assembly procedure, and a bill of materials in Excel. I can then share this data with suppliers by setting view only restrictions to define production costs and timescales which you can then review and submit to the client along with the finalised design. During this, we were able to share, discuss and capture the entire design and development process between various stakeholders, both internal and external, highlighting the power behind Fusion 360 and Fusion Team to develop a product from concept right through to production.